Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. This here is AJ, and today we're gonna to be sharing his two and a half year update. So some of this I will do with him running around, and then I'm gonna address some other stuff later um, after he goes to bed, because I really don't wanna talk about it in front of him. But he's so cute. Um, his birthday is November 28th. He is a Thanksgiving baby. And I'm very thankful for him. Um, he is 37 and a half inches tall right now. And he weighs 30 pounds. He is definitely growing like a little weed. He is um, such a sweet okay, little baby. Okay, yeah. Hmm? Oh, okay, uh. You want a sucker? Okay, yeah. You want a sucker? Okay. Say please. Please. Oh. Be right oh. back. Okay, so today, earlier today, we had AJ's update for his two and a half year old, like, well, checkup. There were no um, shots or anything like that. We were going mainly because I had some concerns. Um, things have been said and pointed out, and, you know, I'm somebody who really will overthink things to a huge degree. And I really just, I mean, I had, first, um, let's see on thursday no 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 on tuesday i'm sorry the 26th we had a over the phone evaluation for aj and then today which is thursday you're going to be seeing this on friday um today we had his doctor's appointment so before i get into all that i just want to kind of go off of um like his growth charts so last time he was at the doctor was march 12th and his weight was 29 pounds and 2 ounces. He was 2 years old and 3 months. And then today his weight is 31 pounds. And obviously he is 2 and a half years old. So he's like perfect. See right here. You see it right up? See? It's going right up. This is him in the little dark spots. So then we can move into um, his height um how tall he's gotten so the last time he was there he was 34 inches um exactly and that was in march yes and um now he is 37 and a half inches so you see where he just shot straight up and then because obviously he's getting taller his BMI dropped. So in Jan uh, in March, excuse me, it was 17, and now it's 17.71 in March, and then now it is 15.5. So he's gotten taller, lankier, and um, obviously um, like losing a lot of that baby fat. So he's perfect um, on his growth charts. Perfect. Um, so some of the things that have concerned me are um, things that one of the things that we've already been dealing with and that's his speech so he seems to drop a lot of the endings of words so instead of saying binky he say he says bink or instead of saying i want my tablet he'll say i want my tab um which is very common, the speech therapist said. It's very, very common. So, um, that, uh, you know, obviously is something for concern. Definitely want him talking well. And then, you know, I haven't addressed this a whole lot on this channel simply because I just, I felt it was ridiculous. Um, things have been said about AJ, such as him having something called, I think it's ANR. I'm not sure if that's it. I think it is, and then cerebral palsy, and then um, autism. I can't remember anything else that was said. And I blew a lot of it off because I thought it was just a bunch of crap. And then the more it got into my head, the more I watched, the more I concentrated. And then today, whenever I was talking to my cousin, um, she was very quick to say, hey, you know, I never said anything um, 
and I know why. I know she thought she would upset me or something, but she said she noticed something with AJ's arm, his left arm. So, obviously, that does, like, sit up a huge red flag, you know, on the day of the doctor's appointment. So, first, let's go over the the preschool evaluation that we did over the phone. I'm actually going to sit down at my desk for that. Um, and then um, I'll talk more about it. Okay, that's more comfortable. So, right now, AJ is enjoying some um, independent play. He has his tablet, and I feel like I can talk about some of this stuff right now because he's not right here in the room. And even though I know he can't understand every word I say, he, just, he does still understand quite a bit. And I don't want to talk about all this in front of him. But we're going to go over the the evaluation we had with the speech um, coordinator. Um, and then we're going to go over the doctor's appointment. And then um, I'm going to show some um, of his favorite toys. I'm going to go over some of our favorite activities. And, you know, just make this a full um, update for AJ. So, AJ started speech in November 2019, and that was mainly because um, even though we understood him as a family and um, basically could attend to all of his needs, that, didn't, that doesn't mean and didn't mean that strangers could understand him the same as we could. So, we started speech, and he's done really well. They went to his daycare, and now they come to our home once a week. Her name is Sharon. And mainly, some of the issues that we saw with speech was, like I've already said, is drops word endings. He doesn't have a whole lot of two-word phrases. Um, and then, there's a big preschool evaluation when he's two years old and 11 months. That would basically be in October. Some of the points of concern right now as it stands would be basically the social aspect. Um, now, that does not necessarily mean he will be um, delayed in, no, in October or November when he turns three. But she's a little worried about a little bit of the social aspect and some sensory issues. So, the sensory issues would be, we have three basically right now. We have the overstuffing of his mouth when he's eating. That's normal for kids his age, though. Um, patting me, like when I'm rocking him, he'll pat me. And then he fidgets a lot with his fingers. Um, he has some slobbering issues from what we think is, you know, would be the binky. Um, and there was some regression with the binky. Uh, he was doing really well with just taking it at night, and then he, um, was babysat by Jordan, or, sorry, by Jackson, and, um, he went back to it. So, we worked really hard in the past week of taking it away during the, during the day, and only having it for sleep time. Now, um, they basically recommended that... Um, as we get closer to the three-year mark, have a full evaluation done and see if he needs any assistance beyond um, the speech. Um, but, we did go ahead and go to the doctor. So, some of the things that have been said about AJ have really been quite, you know, upsetting. Um, I don't want to talk while he's, like, running through. Um... Let me just kind of get to them real quick, and I will kind of give you an idea. One of them said, My nephew is nonverbal autistic and has lots of actions that AJ displays, except the claw hands. Um, one said that they don't think he has cerebral palsy because his hands do open, blah, blah, blah. Um... I see no laxity, I don't know if that's the right word, or uh, spastically in him, I don't know what that word is, is either. Only the clumsy gait and drawn fingers associated with ASD, which is autism. Um, he's got more neuro issues than just ASD. He looks CP and other non-muscular dysfunction. Um, 
and that's just like the tip of the iceberg that's that's just a couple of them and you know I tossed and turned with this I do everything I can for AJ I want AJ to be happy and healthy and thriving just like any other child just like his siblings and it was it it became very alarming to me and so as I said I was talking to my cousin well Shanna she, well I'll talk about Shanna in a second she, Kimmy my cousin was saying hey I thought something was up with his arm but I never said anything and oh I wish she would have said something sooner so we had that talk and I think she will from now on um, and then, um, you know, Shanna said, you know, I see a few little things with him, but I don't see, cause, her, um, her daughter, I, I think she'd be all right with me saying this. Her daughter is on the spectrum, I guess, um, and has other health issues. And she said she didn't notice any of that, those signs, but she did see a few other signs and, I can't remember exactly what sign she said she saw, but she saw some. So, here we go. We get into the doctor, and I thought the day before that I might need to call and make, like, an appointment right behind the appointment we had. So, we'd get maybe, like, a full hour with the doctor because, you know, there was a lot to talk about. We got the full hour, and we didn't have to make the second appointment. She took so much time with us, and she is actually, is that sucker good? She's actually the evaluator for autism. So it was nice having her in there um, to discuss AJ and discuss his hands and his arms and his feet. Mm. Is it good? Show them your sucker. Show them your sucker. Yum. And. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, I have guests coming um, tonight for dinner. Hold on one. So, obviously, in the days before the doctor's appointment, um, there's been many, many discussions about this. And one of the things Shanna brought up was possibly fetal alcohol syndrome from Ryan having a drinking problem and... I know that we basically associate that with a woman drinking, but she had actually read studies and thought maybe that could be something going on. So, like I said, I packed him up. We waited in the car to go see the doctor. We had to wait out in our cars, and we went in with our mask on, and we had a full hour with the doctor. A full hour. As I said, she was the she is the evaluator for um, autism. So I felt really comfortable with her. I showed her video of AJ running. I showed her those comments about AJ's gait, um, about the A&R, about the CP, about all of it. Um, and then I expressed to her, um, you know, what I saw, which is the stuffing of the food, um, a little bit floppy on the arm, not great balance issues, some slobbering, but AJ follows direction really well. He looks you in the eye really well. He eats really well. He's not affected by light or music or sounds, so his sensory issues are not like so prevalent that, you know, they're making any disruption in his life. And I just like poured my heart out to this woman. And I explained that I have an older son with Asperger's, and I suggested doing possibly genetic counseling or testing on him um, to see if there's any issues. And just as she said, genetic testing is going to show you some stuff. It's not going to show you everything. And even with CP, it's not easy to like really test for it. Um, so. Actually, I'm going to hang out with AJ for a few minutes. And like I said, I have Laura and Abigail coming over for dinner tonight. And, um... <laughs> purple tongue? Is your tongue purple? Can you say purple? Purple? Mm -hmm. um, and I will film the rest of this here in a little bit. Just hang on with me. And I will see you guys soon. Okay, so right now it's 8.09 p.m. I just got AJ laid down and I thought I could finish this video. 
So I'm not sure where I left off. I haven't even looked at the footage, but I'm just gonna jump in and continue our discussion. So um, one of the things I wanna say is that this whole like experience of being basically bombarded with comments and questions about AJ um, has not been easy really dealing with his dad um, on this subject. Ryan really doesn't feel like there's anything whatsoever wrong with AJ. I don't really feel like there's anything wrong. I feel like there's some things that maybe need improvement, but I don't feel like it is super serious. I just don't. And um, lucky for us, our pediatrician, AJ's pediatrician, feels basically the same. She feels like he does need a little working with with his left arm. And she said him holding it up here could be a comfort thing and that somebody with cerebral palsy possibly can, you know, they it's hard to pull the arm open. AJ is more like loose and limp. Um, she said even keeping these hand closed could be balance. It could be something that makes him feel better. But obviously if we are seeing a lot of that, try to open the hand more and make him use the hand more. When he ran up and down the hallway, he, she said his gait was a little bit off, but that's also because right now he is flat footed. His feet go out a little bit. And she, she said he had zero markers besides the speech for um, autism. And she recommended um, some occupational therapy here at home. So that's what we're gonna do. We, he currently has speech on Wednesdays. And I don't know what day of the week we're gonna put occupational therapy, but we're gonna do it. And um, it's gonna work on helping him balance. It's going to help build up strength in that arm, um, or at least use it more. And she's like, to the untrained eye, yes, it could look like that. But it's, she doesn't believe for a second it's that. Um, I feel very confident in my meeting with her. The next thing beyond this will be his preschool evaluation when he is two years and 11 months. So, like I said, basically October. So, we're going to continue with speech therapy and occupational therapy. I'm sure sometimes I will update you in vlogs, letting you know, you know, my thoughts on it maybe or how he's doing. And then maybe when he's three years old, we'll do another one of these updates. I don't really mind sharing stuff with you because um, I share AJ on video. I don't plan on stopping that. I enjoy sharing him. Um... I think he's adorable and I have so much fun. I love recording stuff. I'm not going to quit because, you know, of harassment, but I do have to address, you know, what people are saying sometimes. And I feel like they feel righteous in reprimanding me, in um, trying to diagnose him from few minutes of video or maybe a picture and they all come from their own experiences and I understand that and I do respect it but trying to diagnose a child at two years old with anything is kind of difficult and you definitely can't do that watching somebody on video that well I mean she did see how he ran on video but she did not use that as everything she made him run in front of her and you know she is a trained professional and i don't know if those people who say a lot of stuff about aj if they are going to continue especially after this video but i'm not really going to respond to it um that's some of the purpose of this two and a half year old update um but the other part is just letting him be a kid, letting him grow, letting him figure out his own body, um, and 
I think people sometimes just jump to conclusions, but I do appreciate concern for AJ. AJ is one of the happiest babies ever. He's one of the easiest kids I've ever been around. He doesn't give me hardly any behavioral issues whatsoever. He follows directions. He eats well. He sleeps well. Um, he rides in the car well. He likes loud music when he's dancing to Baby Shark. He likes some music in the car. He likes to help with tasks around the house. AJ is is healthy and happy and our focus is going to be um his speech and you know making his arm a little bit stronger and obviously if the occupational speech or the occupational therapy person comes in and works with him and says hey i think there's something else going on or um you know, I think we need to discuss this with your doctor. Then we can go further um, if we need to. But as I suspected, I, I don't think he has anything like Asperger's, autism, um, any of that. I just don't believe that. Cerebral palsy, maybe he has some of the look of it sometimes. Because sometimes he'll hold his arm up. But a lot of times his arm's just loosey-goosey and you know not that active but again he's two years old and i hear some people say well, my two-year-old's more advanced my two-year-old can talk more and then i hear others saying my kid didn't talk to their five and now i can't get them to shut up every child is different and i think that's important to note and i think it's important not to judge criticize or belittle i would never ever not do what he needed or something that Brittany and Jackson needed. I would never not do that. And um, I don't. I know the teenagers would tell you the same thing. And I know Ryan would tell you the same thing. Even though we disagree on this. We um, have definitely had some heated discussions um, about this. But, you know, Ryan is not in the home full time. He is not you know acting out where aj can see it aj doesn't live in constant fear um aj's never been woke up that i know of when ryan has you know had a moment um the idea of keeping ryan out of the house is so aj doesn't see those moments and the moments he has with his father are in a safe contained happy place so i don't feel bad about how i deal with ryan Ryan and I have good days, we have bad days, um, we don't always see eye to eye, but we both want AJ to be happy and healthy, and um, we both will work towards making sure that is the case. Um, and obviously, by the way, his doctor, his speech therapist, his daycare owners, employees at the daycare, um, People that are around AJ every day haven't pointed out these things. Um, it wasn't like they were just being ignored. I mean, there's hateful people sitting in shit all the time. And some of that might be ignored. But people in his community, people in his village have not pointed things out. My cousin did say that she felt like there was something going on with his arm from like an early age but she never spoke to me about it and I wish she would have I saw little things with the arm but I didn't feel that they were serious enough to really do anything he's a baby you know he needs to grow he needs to um, have a good social structure with his friends and family and cousins and he doesn't need criticism and I know they'll say we're not criticizing we care about AJ. We care about this little boy more than his mom possibly could care for him. Or even his father or brothers and sisters and grandparents. And maybe they feel that way, but that is definitely not the case. So, um, you know, for everybody who has been supportive and who has always been kind regarding AJ, that is what I really want to focus my time on now i do understand if you see something that 
looks weird or you have an opinion that you want to tell me, you know, maybe something I need to discuss with a doctor, I'm more than happy to read those comments. I'm more than happy to share them with the speech therapist or the occupational therapist or like I said, his doctor um, or friends and family that are in his everyday life. But I just don't want the negativity when it comes to a two-year-old little boy. So there's that. And I do want to share some toys, though, that he really enjoys that I think are more geared towards fine motor skills and using those hands um, and using his brain as well. So we have tons of toys in this house, so many that it's time to really start thinning them out. But something that AJ has been using, which is pretty new, are these lace and trace cards. Now, I think I showed them in a vlog, but since this is his update, I'm going to show them again here. These are great. Basically, you're just going around the card. You can put the lace in, bring it up, take it over, and you just trace the little animals. So this is great for fine motor skills. It comes with the dog, the bunny, the fish, the turtle, and the kitty cat. And then the other little ropes are in here. So that's a great toy. Now I couldn't get him playing with all these today. And I didn't know I was going to share these um, right off the bat. But I want to because I think they're actually important. Another one, not only on um, fine motor skills, but colors and counting. This little wood set has been awesome for him. He knows the colors. He can get them on himself. It's not always easy for him to get on the little triangles. But, again, two years old. This little thing where it's, I love, by the way, the Melissa and Doug toys. So, I know this is a Melissa and Doug. This is a Melissa and Doug. I could buy everything they have. Um, I love them. This one actually has a little mallet. So, um, he can take his, his little left hand, which, you know, he doesn't use as much, and he can pound away. He can see the colors. He can count them. And it's another great fine motor skill toy. Um, now this one really isn't fine motor skill, but he absolutely loves it. So I had to share it. It's this one. We do go over the colors, but he he's having so much fun with it that um, he does not want to like really talk about colors or anything like that. And then here are some of the other toys um, that I filmed just a little bit ago that he definitely uses and they're all like for fine motor skills um, that can help him with his hands and eye con uh, coordination. So I have shared this hedgehog many times. It's great for hand eye coordination, counting, colors. AJ absolutely loves this and plays with it almost every day. We also have many, many books. This is just a small sample. He loves playing with his books, his puzzles. Some of them have um, little handles where it's easier for him to get the puzzle pieces in and out. He loves his puzzles. There's so many different learning lessons he can learn through them. And another toy he loves is this apple. This apple, you feed the worm through another great hand-eye coordination toy. This is another toy that he plays with almost every single day. Another little area he adores is his music cabinet. It has everything from his xylophone to his drum to his harmonica and so many other fun music toys. And he's usually binging and banging and making all kinds of fun noise every single so, day. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really appreciate you watching. I do believe it takes a village to raise a child and I have such wonderful support from my girlfriends and my family and my mom and my teenagers and AJ's doctors and the speech therapist and everybody that is involved in his everyday life. I am so grateful for it. and um, I'm grateful for you as well. There's so many parents that can relate. There's other parents that can't. We're all different. All of our children are different. And there's no, like, cookie-cutter kid. 
like every child has their own issues every child um, has different ways of learning and coping and um, playing even so you can leave me your comments um, and let me know if you've noticed anything I maybe should have asked sooner I just didn't feel comfortable doing that at first but I've never shied away from being an open book I do enjoy sharing AJ with you guys I think he's just so cute and um, we're definitely going in the right direction and I feel even better about that after the doctor's appointment today so thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it can you say bye Say bye. Bye. Definitely get subscribed if you're new. <laughs> and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed Mom. this video. Yeah. Yeah, camera. Okay. And we will see you very, very soon in our next video. Thank you guys so much. You're more than welcome to leave your comments below. And I will definitely check them out. Yeah. Say bye.